Wait a minute. I could use this. All right, so I took a piece of that wood and I'm gonna square it up and we're gonna make a bait out of it. I have no idea what kind of wood this is. Came off a tree in my backyard and we'll see if it'll catch a fish. I wanna give a quick shout out to my friend Dave Cox and Arlene Gurka. She's a dendrology expert and identified my branch as black cherry. So thanks Arlene. This one might be a little rough. Uh, I got it square, but it was hell to get it to this point, and it does not carve very easily. Uh, so I'm going to try and make something as simple as I can and see if it'll work. Getting to this point right here has been the hardest wood I've ever had to work with. I think this is mulberry. Black cherry. I'm not quite sure, but it is really, really dense. Uh, a saw doesn't even go through it very easily. Even a sawzall has trouble with it. So I don't know how well this is going to turn out, but I'm going to keep going. So I didn't film this part, but this lure acts like crap. Uh, I put way too much weight in the tail. The propeller, the hook, the additional weight was no good. So I actually stuck a piece of balsa in there and I'm... Uh, filling it up with baking soda and super glue to try and jam it in there and change the buoyancy of the tail end of the bait. I'm hoping that'll help balance a little better uh, because right now it acts like a turd. <laughs> There was no saving that turd. Unfortunately, it was a complete fail and now a wall decoration. So I cut off a new piece of wood and made this instead. It's a walking bait. I'm here at Turkey Swamp Park and I've got a school of bass right here at the shoreline trying to sneak up on them. Got him on a homemade lure. And Thomas Quebec, that one's for you. I made this lure out of black cherry wood in my backyard, and now it's catching fish. Bonus fishing. Catching fish here must be extremely hard. You get all kinds of activity. The fish don't get any break from the pressure. Probably one of the better ones I saw. 